back, <laughs> back here, Blake here. October 31st. Do we ever doubt the origins of God? As I did. You know, I mean, thousands, thousands of people here today, even in some world, that um, we are all brothers and sisters of the same thing. You know, it all comes to the same heart. And when you're born, you're the purest as you've ever been. The truth is, when that comes down to it and things happen to us, we all become, we, I have always been part of the same people. See, this has been the message throughout the ages. Black, blue, purple, green, whatever color you are, we all love each other. We have a voice to say something. And we're all the same people. So, we shouldn't even use people. We are all one. We are all one by design. We are all one because we all lead back to the same source of people. Now I don't understand why y'all want to differentiate this or who's special and who's not. Well, maybe that could have been, you know, about times when our virtues and our things came through us and they're like I love everybody I love everybody because I mean that was my thing when I was a kid um, my mom and dad's like who you love who do you love you love dad or mom and I said I love you both and I, was, I think this could go back to the origins of us I think this go back to the origins of us because we are all the same. We're all sons and daughters of God, and this is all the same. And this is what I have derived through my scientific evaluations of things that, um, you know, no matter, no matter what we're going through, we can all find compatibility and love for each other. No matter what we're going through. And I think that the evil things have tried to, to, to enter our devices and things and say that we're not the same people, but we all are. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, when it all comes down to it, we are. Could this be a divine message that we're trying to all of us to say to each other hey man hey hey I think this goes way beyond the um the Caribbean way and the uh, and even the smoking the marijuana because I think at times that we did we did certain things at certain months and this is probably one of them where we could um Different which differentiate the realms of time. But as a shaman, I know that I have to cross boundaries, and, and most people don't. And most people can't. But I know this to be true, and I know this is. Look, we're all one. We're all one. When did we lose all that? We are one. I think Camellia or whatever name is is trying to, to say that, but that doesn't come through very well. But let's Trump and all of us are all people. And we have many different different ways of celebrating this and things and cultures that we divide each other, but ultimately if you look at all of our cultures together we are one. And I think that's... They never meant for the diversity of us. But maybe wars, because some people came intoxicated on things and did things and did the inhuman... I ain't no call him. 
in alien things. They came up with concepts that did not. That went against everything that our teachings are. And that's fucking King Blake though. Look in your heart. Look in, ultimately into your heart. Do you feel that we were all chosen ones or anything or whatever? No. But that every part of this society could be culture. It could be things and to be things and, and things that maybe it have been. part of society and that went against society and we were like no no we're not gonna have this but do you think this could be as simply derived as this but I know one thing I'm a human being just like you there's not one thing or one part of my body that knows any different I am just like you. We all have our own beliefs. And that's the beautiful thing of God. That's the beautiful thing of all Father. One society. One. But we have differences. But isn't that the most beautiful faces of God? Because if you don't believe that you can fucking peer on the face of God, look in a mirror. And that's yourself, because you're looking on the face of God. Every single one of you, female and male. Now, I don't believe that we're, uh, we're born uh, a male and we become females. And I don't think, as far as I'm concerned, is my own personal life, no. But I think that we can be confused. It depends on what you in. Or what part of what you buy into. And maybe we just don't even fucking know. Maybe we just don't even know. Maybe uh, things have been representing our people. Because in all the Viking culture, strong women made for great children. And I'm saying they're very so much as strong as us. They are not weak because they have certain things. But they can only, they are the only ones that can give birth to a new race. To a new thing. To a new ideal. To a new culture. I'm saying, have those things been introduced to us? And they have. And by the people that won't rehearse. So if I keep what it says today, be yourself. This is a very sacred holiday of all pagan cultures. Of all pagan cultures. This is when the realm between the death and the real it's very thin. And we all dress up like them. I saw some babies this morning. This one girl was like, What's your name? What's your name? Oh, man. My heart. My heart. Heart. Well, not to hurt. But she did not understand. We did not even understand. Why the fuck do we need to understand? There are certain ways we have things have happened. The moon bit the moon was parked there for a reason. We all have seasons. But at the end of the day we all have souls and we're fucking human beings. We have something that uh, angelic beings don't have. And that's a choice. Now I don't know if you believe that, and you don't have to believe that, and we don't ever have to believe that. But we have something they don't. We also have something that they don't. 
It's called a heart. A heart for humanity. A heart for seeing those suffering around us and we take care of them. If you don't have that heart, then you're part of the evil one. And you call him whatever you want. Angel of light. Bing, dang, ding, dong. But we all know that we're connected to God or the All Father every day. So, whatever that means for you, put our differences aside. Our differences make us human. It makes us individual. And that's the beauty of humanity. And Viking King Blake off.